A subscriber on my channel was getting change back from the store and they came across a pretty rare $1 bill note. Now the probability of finding a rare $1 bill is pretty challenging, but there are people out there that have no idea what to look for. There are people out there that could honestly really use extra money, especially with all the crazy inflation going on right now. But there are $1 bills out there that you could find that are worth thousands of dollars. The subscriber on my channel found this rare note and sent me a picture and I told her that it was going to be worth a lot more than just one dollar. This happens all the time. The more information that you know, the more knowledge you have, the less probability you have of missing out on one of these really rare one dollar bills. The first and most easiest example of a rare one dollar bill will be the fancy serial number dollar bills. If you have any serial numbered one dollar bill, and by that I mean the numbers that are on the bill, typically in green, the lower the serial number, or if it's a fancy serial number like a solid number one serial number, the these are all serial numbers that are going to dramatically increase the value of the note. Let's look at this one for example. So this one was graded by PCGS a very fine 25. That is a good sign for us because that means this note went through circulation, it went through people's pocket change, it was in their wallets, it was in a purse, you know, it went through the cash register. This didn't go directly from the printer right to a collection. This went through people's hands. And this note sold for $2,530 and if this note was in better condition, Say you go to a bank and get some spare change back and they hand you a fresh pack of $1 bills. If you have a rare $1 bill like this, you could turn that $1 bill into thousands of dollars just like this person did. This is something you really need to look out for. So most people know that a star note is going to be worth more money than a non-star note. What do I mean by a star note? If you look at the end of a serial number, you're going to see a star there. Long story short, that means during the printing process, there is a sheet of banknotes that had an error on it. So they destroyed that sheet and printed a new sheet with a star. These are called star notes or replacement notes. Most of the time, unfortunately, a star is not going to increase the value of your $1 bill to a significant amount. Sometimes it will, but not always. Now this $1 bill that you see on your screen sold for $4,200. Now you may be asking yourself, why would a $1 bill sell for so much money? I'm gonna tell you exactly why right now. So this $1 bill is from 1988 and it was graded by PMG 67 EPQ. Now the highest grade we can get in grading is 70. Now before I move on, really quickly, if you wanna send me pictures of your coins or paper money, all you gotta do is hit the join button below and join my silver membership. You don't have to do that, but if you do, you can send me photos, you can cancel at any time, and I'll tell you exactly how much coins or paper money are worth. But back to this note, the main reason why this note is worth so much money is mainly because this is what collectors call a web note. Now a web note, the easiest way, all you really need to know is that the difference is here. I'm going to throw up a few examples on the screen. You can see Washington's face there. On a web note, it's going to look more washed out versus a typical normal looking note. Also, the plate position on a web note is going to be different. Web notes only have a number while normal notes have a number and a letter. So you could have a web note that could be worth a lot more money than just $1. Again, the reason why this one sold for so much money is because it's a high grade and also it's important to understand that market conditions play a huge factor in how much these notes actually bring. So if you end up selling, your bank note at a time that the market's at a high, you're going to get more money than if we're going through a bear market where there's a lot of downturn and collectibles aren't bringing as much money. But let's jump into this next note. So this is a 1977 $1 bill with a serial number one. I'm not going to spend too much time here, but this one graded at a 67 EPQ. Now guys, remember the first note I showed you was a very fine 25? This one sold for $11,162. Now that's a good reason why you never want to fold your bill. If you have any sort of paper money bill, you want to keep it nice and flat, don't fold it. Please do not ever fold it because literally each fold you put in a dollar bill will decrease the value and lower the grade of the banknote. So keep it really flat. I recommend putting them in between two pieces of cardboard or ideally if you're collecting, you get a non-PVC plastic holder to keep them safe. These grading companies like PCGS and PMG have high level grade plastic that will not damage banknotes. But let's move on to the next note. So this is a solid number nine serial number. If you ever come across a solid serial number, note like this. It could be serial numbers one through nine, but just solids. You're in for a treat because this note sold for $16,800. Hit that subscribe button. It really does help out with these algorithms. Stay tuned for more and I'll see you in the next video.